Hello, and this is for all of you ladies who are looking for love and maybe dating someone that you like, but he's not committing, or you feel like you're getting closer emotionally, and then he pulls back, or he's being aloof. So if you've ever wondered, like, how do I get into a committed partnership? I'm so sick of dating, or how come it seems like just when I get to be close with someone, they pull away and it fizzles out? Well, I'm here to tell you why that might be happening and the things you can do to get to the other side of that. So it really sucks when we start investing time and emotional energy and sometimes even physical energy into someone for weeks or months, and it just feels like we reach this place of feeling stuck. You know, and a lot of times it's because we're looking for that silver bullet. We're looking for that magic pill or that band-aid that all of a sudden will make him commit and make our relationship perfect. And then we can relax and we can feel like we're getting everything that we wanted. But you know what? It doesn't work like that. So if you feel like he's still aloof and you're wanting more, there's a few things that might be happening. One, you might not be as committed to yourself as you need to be in order to inspire your partner to be committed to you. So a lot of times people think that you know, men just want a woman who's, you know, I don't even know how to say this without being rude, <laughs> but a trophy wife. And truthfully, more and more men and, and most men that I know who are conscious and powerful and successful and awake, they want a partner who's just as powerful as they are. They want to be a power couple. They're not just looking for some arm candy. And what that means is you have to stay totally connected to and committed to yourself and not just looking for the band-aid. So what do I mean by looking for the band-aid? Well, sometimes we'll look for a blog online or a Google, we'll search Google or we'll watch a five minute YouTube video on like the thing to say to make him fall in love forever. You know, that stuff just doesn't work. If it did, everyone would be in a committed, awesome, loving, lasting partnership. But here's the deal, partnership is probably the most complicated thing that we will ever do in our life. If you think about the number of people in America who are employed, you know, making money, and the number of people who are in relationship, and the number of people, who, uh, let me just caveat that. So there's like over 50 million people who are not in relationship. And then of those people in relationship, how many of them are actually happy? Because we have so many choices and so many options. Hi, Lorena. <laughs> I'm in Los Angeles too. Nice to see you. I'm actually wearing a shirt today that says, love my tribe. So I feel like we're connecting. You're part of my tribe living in LA. So nice to have you on here. Um, yeah, if anyone else wants to share where they're watching from, if you're live or on the replay, that'd be super cool. I love connecting with each of you. Um, and yeah, thank you for tuning in. So when we're looking for commitment, we also need to stay committed to ourselves and not just be looking for a band-aid, not just be looking for that one little thing that we can do because creating a great relationship is an art and it's a skill. You know, if we wanted to become great at basketball, we would learn how to be good at basketball. We wouldn't just read a book on it. And that's why it's so important that we actually do our work. So if you're wanting to take the relationship to the next step, the first thing you need to look at is what's the next step in your own evolution as a person. And here's where sometimes we get a little bit off track. So we might think, well, my next evolution, next step in my evolution is to, you know, take this class on healing or become a yoga teacher or do all these things. And I've done those things too, and I'm not knocking them. I think they're really beautiful, but they're not necessarily concentrated enough or applicable enough to our love life. Just because you're really spiritual doesn't mean you're gonna get into a great relationship. Learning how to be in a great relationship is what will help you get into a great relationship. And so it's really important that we actually get the help that we need. We get the support that we need. And Lorena shares that she's been single for the past six years, enjoying herself, getting ready for her soulmate. Yeah, there are times where we need to just take a pause from dating and we need to reconnect to ourselves. But we wanna make sure that we're not waiting forever. You know, a lot of women that I work with, they've been single for six years, eight years, sometimes even longer. And then when we start working together, it's like, boom, you know, they get the tools they need to attract a high quality man, to learn how to date, to integrate their head, their heart, and their body, and to really inspire someone to, to commit to them in the long term. You know, I'm not here to help people become better at dating, although that's just part of the process and automatically happens. I'm here to help people find a great relationship that elevates them, where they get treated like the queen that they are. So imagine what it would be like to just trust and know that you're gonna be in a great relationship. So many women are posting right now in our graduates group saying, oh yeah, I'm dating two different guys and they're both great and I'm trying to see which one is the best fit for me. Or I had two different guys that were treating me like a queen, they're both kings, they're both fantastic, and I'm not sure which one I wanna, I wanna commit to and I wanna be in a relationship with. And so it's almost like turning the tables where instead of you just hoping and waiting that he wants to be in a relationship with you, 
you've got lots of options and you have the, the choice and the time and the pacing and the support to really make the best decision for yourself and to feel the abundance of men and in general. You know, I was just messaging with one of my newer clients and she not only is starting to date a great guy right now, but she also just found out about a financial reward that she's getting for some work that she's doing that's basically the same as what the investment was in the course. And she's like, I can't believe this. I'm like, I can because it happens all the time. Like when we step into our feminine power and we take action on our behalf, not only do we get an abundance of men, we get an abundance of everything in our life because we understand the power of feminine magnetism and radiance and drawing what it is that we need to us. So if that sounds interesting to you, if you want to create a great relationship, if you want to know how to have a high quality man commit to you, and you want to learn the specific tools about dating and relationships so that you're not just doing spiritual study, but you're really narrowing down what it is that you're focusing on, then I would love to connect. We offer free 45 minute breakthrough to love calls. I mean, when else in your life can you get an expert that's listening to you, who's talked to thousands of women, who knows exactly how to overcome the problems that you're facing? It's priceless. So these calls go really fast. We have about 40 women a week that reach out and only about 10 to 15 spots. But if that's you, if you're someone who's committed and you wanna learn what's going on with your love life and how to improve it, then just go to violetlang.com forward slash talk and set up your free breakthrough to love session then and enjoy um, the process of really getting skilled, becoming a master at this part of your life so that you never have to worry about relationship and what to say or what to do again because you're no longer looking for the band-aid. You're really becoming the best version of yourself in relationship with the right tools and support inside and out. <laughs>